Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. Happy Friday to everybody. It is Friday, the 27th of March. This is our weekly recap. It goes out to all my subscribers as well as everybody on my email list and YouTube. First off, I hope everybody's safe and doing well, and that's the most important thing right now uh, that needs to be going on, that you're taking care of yourselves and your families and your loved ones. If you're interested in getting learning more about what I do, please drop by my website, SmartOptionTrading.com. You can click on live trading alerts and click there to sign up for details. So that said, let's go right into what's going on here. It's been a interesting, interesting week, and we'll just take this from here and open this up. And you know, the SPY here, we've had this huge sell off, but in the Fibonacci retracements are on here. And you can see now we have now bounced up and we're almost into the 38.2% retracement off of the lows on the SPY. You also have the 21 day there and you know, that one's the 270 area is just ahead as well. So we've had a, the easy, easy bounce off the bottoms from heavily oversold. You can see the oscillator's gone a little bit overbought. Not much has been easy about this week uh, from the low of 218.26 to the gap up, right? And then we've kind of moved. So they did trap shorts here, but you know, these candles, while they look good, they weren't easy. Specifically yesterday, most of that move came late in the day on a ramp. And now we've started ramping here as well today into the close. What I want you to look at here is volume. Volume is down. We're only 151 million shares at about 30 minutes to go today. Way off our pace, way off where we normally are for this. Um, and if you think this is easy, the action's whippy, it's choppy. You go up and then you come right back down and then it goes right back up and it comes right back down. What we also have going on here is a little bit of rebalancing into the close today. And what that means is that Last Friday, we were supposed to do a rebalancing of all the indexes, and instead, we pushed it off because of the volatility. And you can see the markets are screaming higher here as we go into the close. When we look at a couple other things of note, what I want you to focus on here is on the QQQs, which have been the stronger, mostly hit the 21-day yesterday, stopped, and couldn't get through it. Um, most of the QQQ names are not going to be getting aid. Those are going to be names like the airlines and um, hotels, you know, those are the ones that are mostly going to be getting a lot of help here. So we'll see how this plays out. The IWM, come on, come on, think you're swim. You can do it. All right. Even weaker, not even close to the 21 day. And the VIX, despite all of our best efforts, continues to stay elevated, can't even get back down to the 50 area. So there's a lot going on to me that says this is not over yet. Now, we have our stimulus package. It's going to Trump. He's going to sign it at, at the close of the markets at 4 o'clock. We have potentially a tremendous amount of bad headlines coming out over the weekend. And that's because in the New York area, and that's New York, New Jersey, and into Connecticut, things have gotten very bad. Hospitals are completely overwhelmed at this point and are now desperate. For, they don't have any beds. And they, basically, you're going to start seeing some, some decisions start being made. They're also running out of supplies. So, you know, watch for some very doom and gloom or getting type headlines to come out of some of the places like that this weekend. And we'll see. But right now, you know, no change in most stuff. When I look at charts, you look for the names that act as stronger. And that's what we've been focusing on. Uh, you know, for me this week, you know, was focusing on names that trade as stronger. Square gave some nice trades this week. A nice move off that bottom up to here. Crowd, which had good earnings, gave nice trades again this week up into here. I'm less of it now than I was earlier, uh, still underwater, but I took some off if I get some red, red on it, add some more back. Microsoft's been one of the stronger names. Again, look at it pushing up here above the 21 day. Again, second day in a row. Same thing with AMD. AMD's been strong, pushing into the 50 day here. NVIDIA, another name that's been strong. So you know, every morning we try to identify the names that are stronger in play. This is above the 50 day. Look at the strength here and look for names that are trading better. I've also been trading heavily on the TQQQ and the SQQQ. These are triple leveraged ETFs that track, um, that track to the Qs. They're good day trading vehicles, especially with stock. Uh, Turley gave a nice trade today, caught that one. You know, so there was, you know, things to do, oh, TLRY. You know, a little squeeze play, caught that quickly and made some nice money, give it back here. And the bottom line is with this market is, you know, you don't want to overstay your welcome. If you overstay your welcome, you tend to get in trouble. So here we are bouncing, Amazon bouncing strong here late this afternoon, pushing back up. And, you know, making this look like a very exciting close right now. And the truth is we'll have to see where we go from here, how this plays out, where we go from here, because 
honestly, the news is not good. And other than the, the other than the stimulus package coming through, the curve continues to, to steepen as we do more testing and finding more people are sick. So I suspect that you know it might be a little early in the game here for this rally to really get much beyond what it is now. But we'll see. We'll see how this sets up into next week. So I hope everybody had a great week. Nice green week here. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I will catch you guys all on Monday morning. Be safe. Take care of your fans.